Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Now we are discussing primary immunodeficiency disorders. First one, X-linked gamma globulinemia. In short, it is known as XLA. It is a humoral immunodeficiency. First recognized immunodeficiency is XLA. This syndrome described by Bruton, so it is also known as Bruton agama globulinemia. It is a inherited immunodeficiency disease caused by mutation in Bruton thyroidin kinase which prevent B cell normal development. Next we are discussing common variable immunodeficiency. In short, CVID. It is a humoral immunodeficiency. It is an antibody deficiency. Total immunoglobin level will decrease. B cells lose their differentiation capacity. Increased suppressor T cell and diminished helper T cell activity. Due to antibody deficiency, immune system unable to defend against bacteria, viruses, result severe infection, which primarily affect ears, sinuses, and respiratory tract. Next, we are discussing. Selective immunoglobulin deficiencies. It's a humoral immunodeficiency disease. Here, selective deficiency of one or more immunoglobulin classes. Other remain normal. Immunoglobulin A deficiency is the most common condition in this group. These patients exhibit increased level of respiratory infections. Immunodeficiencies with the hyperimmunoglobulin M. It is a humoral immunodeficiency disease. It's a rare disorder. When this disease affected, our immunoglobulin gamma and immunoglobulin alpha level become very low and also abnormally increased level of immunoglobulin M and Z in serum. Thymic hypoplasia also known as D. George syndrome. It is a cellular immunodeficiency disease. This is a developmental defect. In this condition, thymus is underdeveloped. So, circulating T cells are reduced in number. Patient who survived in the neonatal period show enhanced susceptibility to viral, fungal and bacterial infection. Next, we are discussing ataxia telangiectasia. It is a combined immunodeficiency disease, rare hereditary condition, which affect nervous system and immune system. This disorder is characterized by progressive difficulty with coordinating movement beginning in early childhood. Next, we are discussing severe combined immunodeficiency. That is SCID. It is a very important topic. It is a combined immunodeficiency disease. It is a rare disorder caused by mutation in different genes. Next, we are discussing complement component deficiencies. It is a genetic disorder. This condition is caused by mutation in the C2G. 
During this condition, immune system not able to protect body from foreign pathogens. Next, complement inhibitor deficiency. It is a hereditary disorder due to deficiency of C1 gene inhibitor. Next, we are discussing Schwachmann syndrome. Rare genetic disorder. Insufficient absorption of necessary nutrients due to abnormal development of the pancreas. Next, we are discussing lazy leukocyte syndrome. It is a severe neutropenia with the abnormal neutrophil motility. Neutropenia means abnormally low count of white blood cells. Next, we are discussing treatment of primary immunodeficiency disorders. First one is replacement of missing protein. Next, replacement of missing cell type or lineage done by stem cell therapy. Replacement of missing or defective gene. Administration of the missing protein is a classic treatment for primary immunodeficiency disorders. Monoclonal antibodies, recombinant proteins are also used in these cases. Live microbial vaccine should not be given to children with any type of primary immunodeficiency. If you like this video, please click like button, share with your friends and subscribe the channel. Thank you.